Hi and welcome. I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for joining me on my YouTube channel or blog for another card video. Today I'm sharing some super simple cards featuring the Pink and Main Pen Pals paper pad and Scent with Love stamp set along with a few other products that will be linked below and you can find them listed on my blog post as well. Here's a quick look at the Scent with Love stamp set from Pink and Main. I love all the fun sentiments. They're perfect for cards and dressing up your envelopes, especially for someone like myself who was not blessed with great penmanship. I'm going to take a quick peek here at the paper pad and I'm going to be using the cut aparts during the video. The images are so sweet with those sweet messages. Um, the colors are beautiful, and I know they're going to be perfect for what I have in mind. So here's a quick tip for you on storing paper pads. Now, we all know paper pads have a bad tendency of falling apart. Um, so I just take an extra large stamp pocket, and I cut it down and slide my paper pad in. And then I can store the scraps in the back, and I can also store any coordinating embellishments in there with it. And then I have everything in one place and it just makes things a little bit easier. So I'm going to um, talk about gatefold cards for just a second. Um, I absolutely love making gatefold cards. They're really easy once you get the hang of them. So I'm going to start with a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half inches by five and a half inches high. My card size is going to be four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So here's the thing. You can score your flaps on your gatefold anywhere you want as long as those measurements equal the width of your card. So I've scored mine at two inches and then I just twist the paper around on my scoreboard and score it again at two and a quarter inches. And the reason that I twist it around is because I'm using a mini scoreboard so the measurements don't go over far enough. So you can see here I've scored at two inches and then again at two and a quarter inch. So as long as you always remember that, you can score your flaps wherever you want. I've scored them at one inch and then at three and a quarter inches. It's just completely up to you. I'm going to cut down this pattern paper to five and three eighths of an inch in height. And then I'm going to make my vertical cuts to create panels for the front flaps of the card. Now, when I'm cutting my vertical cuts, I like to make sure that I'm cutting it so that the pattern continues across the card. And I find the easiest way for me to do this is by cutting the left panel first and then just slide the paper to the left to cut the right panel. So my pattern will continue across the card. And now it might not be a big deal to you. And if it's not, by all means, just cut the size you need. But for me, I like to have the pattern continue across the paper. Um, and if you do that and you need to trim your paper down, only trim from the outer edges and that will keep from breaking the flow of the pattern. So I adhered that with my ATG adhesive. And now I'm ready to go ahead and start um, adding my sentiment and adding this cute little image. So I thought that the hey you've got mail would be great with this little image because she's hugging her mail and her little dog has his mail. So I'm going to just go ahead and stamp the sentiment with my Misty and my uh, VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I'm going to add her to a piece of gray cardstock and then I'm going to trim it down. So once I have that done, I'm going to add a piece of heavy duty adhesive to the back of this. And I'm using um, Sukwain tape, and I'm only going to add my adhesive to the left side um, of the little cute image because I'm adhering her to the left flap on my card base. So I want to make sure that when I'm doing this, I keep the adhesive to the far left side of that little image. So I really do love making gatefold cards because like I said earlier, they're perfect for using your pattern paper. You can use one pattern on the outside and then another pattern on the inside. I mean, they're just a lot of fun to make. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and create another one. I am using actually two of those little cut aparts on this one. I'm using one with the sentiment and one with the little image there. And um, this, is a, this is a great way to get kids involved in creating cards is to use uh, papers that have all these cute little images and then you just pre-cut everything and then let the kids go at it putting the cards together. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut all of my uh, pattern paper down to the size that I need. I'm going to take these cute little images and that sweet sentiment and I'm going to back it with gray cardstock and then I'm going to adhere it to the front of the card using 3D mounting foam. And I'm going to do that same thing where I make sure that I add the adhesive only to the side that I'm adhering the little uh, image to. So for the sentiment, I'm going to adhere it to the right flap of the card. And for the little mouse at the mailbox, I'm adhering him to the left side of the card. So I want to keep my um, adhesive to the left for the little mouse and to the right for the sentiment. I hope I didn't confuse you too much with that. Okay, so um, once I have that done, I'm pretty much done. Now I do have four samples of cards. If you'll watch to the end, you'll see those. And you'll also notice that I'm not adding any embellishments to these cards. And the reason that I'm not adding embellishment to these cards is because I'm going to be sending them to an organization that gathers cards for children in hospitals. Um, I think these cards are perfect because they have, uh, you know, they're fun, they're cheerful, they have a happy uh, sentiment with them, letting the kids know, hey, someone's thinking of you. And by not adding those embellishments, I don't have to worry about causing any health hazards with choking or anything like that. So I'm loving the way that these turned out. I think they're going to be great for kids. They have these wonderful little images and sentiments. So I will be sure to add some links over on my blog uh, in case anybody's interested in donating cards. I'll be sure to add those for you. And if you go to my website, I'm going to be setting up a page that will be up all the time. Uh, with links for organizations that accept handmade cards to donate. Okay, so I believe that's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed joining me and that you were inspired enough to create something amazing today. I want to encourage you to leave any comments or suggestions below. I do hope you'll hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of new content to my channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my website when you head over there to check out those links so that you'll get access to my videos before they're published to the public. Now, I don't do all of my videos like that, but um, probably about three a month, I will email out to my subscribers and let them look at those before I put them out. So as always, know I appreciate you so much for taking your time to watch this video. And until next time, my crafty friends, keep crafting.